Hello everybody, welcome to another lesson by me, Miss Pythagoras. In this lesson, I will explain how to determine the final payment on a loan. This is lesson 8 of 8. Let's look at an example. Bob decided that he would rather use a bike than his car to navigate through rush hour traffic. He takes out a loan of 100,000 Rand at an interest rate of 10% per annum compounded monthly to pay for the bike. He repays the loan by equal monthly payments of 5,500 Rand and a final payment which is less than 5,500 Rand. How long will it take for him to repay the loan? Now let's start with the summary. P is 100,000 Rand. X the regular payments 5,500. I is the interest 10%, 10 percent, 10 divided by 100 is 0, 0,1 and N that's what we're looking for. How long will it take for him to repay the loan? Now we work this out with the present value formula. Into the present value formula in P's place 100,000 equals x is 5500 bracket 1 minus bracket 1 plus i is 0, 0,1 divide by 12 because of monthly payments to the power negative n and this is what we're going to calculate over 0, 0,1 divide by 12 monthly payments. In the next step I will multiply away the 0, 0,1 over 12 both sides and I will divide away the 5,500 both sides. Then, when you do that, you find the answer is 5 over 33 minus 1. Now, where does the minus 1 comes from? The minus 1 is from this side of the equation. It walks over to that side and it becomes minus 1. In the next step, 5 over 33 minus 1 is negative 28 over 33 equals and 1 plus 0, 0,1 over 12 gives you 121 over 120. And then now you've got an exponential equation and you want to solve the exponent to the power negative n. So you will convert this into a logarithm. But let's divide away the minuses first. And now we convert into log form. We say, you write log, the base of the exponent stays the base of the logarithm. The number on its own will go and stand there with the logarithm. And we make the exponent the subject of the formula, minus n. And then when you slot that into your calculator, you find minus n is equal to minus 19 comma 798 and remember you keep the decimals we divide away the minus therefore these 19 payments of 5500 rand and one less than 5500 it's because of the decimals there The next question is always what will the outstanding balance on the loan be after the 19th payment? The summary, X is 5,500, I is 0, 0,1, and now we know N is 19,798, etc. Into the present value formula, we're going to substitute all those values, but the only important thing here is on the negative n. Remember, when we're calculating the outstanding balance, it's how many payments are left. Now, therefore, we ignore the 19 because that's the payments we already made. And it's only the 0, 0,798, whatever is after the decimal. That is the payments that's left. Therefore, you substitute that in. And then again, your X is 5,500 and your I is 0, 0,1 divided by 12 and over I 0, 0,1 divided by 12. 
and you slot that into your calculator and you find the outstanding balance on the loan after the 19th payment is 4,358 rand and 57 cents. Before we continue, have you subscribed yet? You can also visit my website, onlinemats.co.za. There you will find all the chapters in the, in the syllabus. Also feel free to leave a comment or like my video. Let's continue with the maths. The last question is, what amount will the final payment be? Now, remember, the outstanding balance is 4,358 Rand. This is after the 19th payment was made. The final payment will be made one month later and therefore interest for that month has to be added on top of the outstanding balance. So P, the outstanding balance, is the 4,358 Rand. I is still 0, 0,1 and now N is 1. It's just for the one month later. Into the compound interest formula, we substitute the outstanding balance in P's place, bracket 1 plus I, 0, 0,1 divided by 12, and N is 1, only for that one month that's left. Therefore, the final payment will be 4,394.89. Let's look at another example. Macy wants to spoil his toddler triplets by purchasing these three houses. He borrows 5,000 rand at an interest rate of 28% per annum compounded monthly. He repays the loan by means of equal monthly payments of 800 rand and a final payment less than 800 rand. How long will it take for him to repay the loan? Same procedure. We start with the summary. P is 5,000. That's the value of the loan. X is 800, the regular payments. I, the interest rate 0,28. N, that's what we're looking for. Into the present value formula, we substitute. In P's place, the value of the loan, 5,000, equals X is 800, bracket 1 minus bracket 1 plus. I is 0,28 divided by 12, because this monthly, um, the I was the interest rate of 28% compounded monthly raised to the power negative N. And that's also what we're going to make the subject of the formula just now over I 0, 0,28 over 12. Then times 0, 0,28 over 12 both sides. And we will in the next step divide away the 800 both sides and we end with a 7 over 48 and then it is this one that will walk across and it becomes minus 1 equals minus bracket 1 plus 0, 0,28 over 12. So on the left uh, raised to the power of negative 1. On the left 7 over 41 minus 1 gives you negative 41 over 48 and on the right hand side Inside the bracket, when you add that, you end with 307 over 300. And then we will divide away the two minuses in front here. Again, it's an exponential equation, and we want to solve the exponent, the to the power of minus n. Therefore, we will use logarithms. So we will convert the exponential equation into a logarithmic equation by saying the base of the exponent stays the base of the logarithm and the number on its own the 41 over 48 will go and stand with the logarithm equals and the exponent becomes the subject of the formula you slot that into your calculator and you find negative n is equal to negative 6,834 etc and we'll divide away the negative therefore there's six payments of 800 rand and one less than 800 rand. 
What will the outstanding balance on the loan be after the sixth pay payment? Again, X is 800 Rand. Our I is the 28%, which is 0 0.28, and the N is 6.834, etc. Into the present value formula, because this is what we do when we working out the outstanding balance. We use the present value formula. But can you remember when you're working out the outstanding balance, you focus on N, the payments left. So in this case, six payments were made. So you cross out the six and what is left is the 0, 0.834, etc. In X's place, it's still the 800. Uh, bracket 1 minus bracket 1 plus, and then the i is 0, 0.28 divided by 12, raised to the power negative n, but n is the payments left, the 0, 0.83, as I said, i is 0, 0.28 over 12. You slot that into your calculator. Therefore, the outstanding balance on the loan is 653 rand and 26 cents. The last question, what amount will the final payment be? Now remember the outstanding balance we calculated in the previous slide was 653 Rand. This is after the sixth payment was made. The final payment will be made one month later and therefore interest for that month has to be added on top of the outstanding balance. Now the P is the 653 with all the decimals outstanding balance, I is 0, 0,28 and N is 1, only one month. Into the compound interest formula we substitute in P's place the 653 together with all its decimals, bracket 1 plus I is 0, 0,28 divided by 12 and N is only 1. Therefore, into your calculator, A, the final payment will be 668 Rand and 50 cents. Now you know how to work out the final payment on a loan. There is also a playlist on Calculus Basics, where I teach you how to find the derivative using first principles and the rules of differentiation. If you want to work on Paper 2's content, then click on the video for Analytical Geometry. This is Miss Pythagoras signing off. Till next time.